Am I the a-hole for kicking my sister's boyfriend out of my vacation home? My husband Kai and I own a vacation home on Lake Michigan. We both own it technically, but it was his before we got married. This becomes relevant later. My sister Leah has been using our vacation home since Kai and I started dating. We don't mind. She is always clean and courteous and leaves it better than she found it. However, she started dating her BF Al about a year ago and I can't say the same for him. Al is a total slob. He leaves dirty dishes, empty bottles, etc. everywhere and expects Leah to clean up. He has split custody of two young kids from his ex, who he just lets run free, expecting Leah to do the work even though they're his kids. On top of that, he's told Leah to get him a beer while she's busy and he's watching TV a few times in front of Kai and me, so I can't imagine how he treats her when we're not around. Their house is always a mess because Leah works 60 hours a week and doesn't have the time to take Take care of two small kids and Al clean and work long hours. Yet somehow, I think Leah really loves Al. She looks at him like he is the only man in the world. When she talks about him, her eyes light up and her voice is sweet and melodic. That's why when Leah asked if she and Al could use the vacation home this week, I said yes. I figured what's the worst that could happen. Plus, Kai and I already planned on going three days after them, so we'd overlap. When Kai and I got there, the vacation house was a pigsty. It smelled like rotting food. There was a mountain of dirty dishes in the sink, the floor was sticky, and there were drawings on the walls with crayons. We got to the living room, where lo and behold Leah was scrambling to pick up toys and Al was drinking a beer in a rocking chair. I immediately snatched the beer from his hand and asked him why he wasn't cleaning the mess he made. He asked why I assumed it was him and not Leah. I said it's because I'm not an idiot. He just chuckled and said Leah was doing the cleaning and there didn't need to be two people cleaning. His nonchalance really ticked me off, so I told him he and his sticky kids had an hour to pack up their things and leave before I called the cops. Al looked at Kai and Kai was like, what are you looking at me for? Go pack. At this point, Leah was really upset with me. She said they were looking forward to unwinding and I walked in and ruined it in five minutes, not even considering other resolutions to conflict. Plus, I had no claim to the house since I didn't buy it myself. I told her there is no conflict Al is dead weight and that's that. And as for the house, Kai owns it and he was with me. She said if Al was leaving, she was leaving too. That night, I got a call from my mom asking why I kicked Leah out. I told her I kicked Al out and Leah followed. My mom told me I need to be more accepting of new members of the family and that not everyone has the same living style as me. Now she's mad and Leah won't talk to me. Was I the a-hole in this situation? Here are the top comments. Send mom photos of what they did to the house and tell her if she wants to be accepting of AL's behavior and how he treats your property then she can jolly well come clean up after him and put your house to rights. Feels like your mom doesn't have the full picture of Al that you do. Obviously Al is an a-hole. You aren't. Not the a-hole. My unsolicited advice is future interactions continue to call out Al's behavior as unacceptable. Only act through defense of your sister. Don't call out her bad choice of Al at all. Don't do a why are you doing X for him. Just call out Al's laziness. Get me a beer garners a what are your legs and arms broken? Not cleaning? Pick up after your kids, wash your dirty dishes, jerk. Just continue to point out that Al is a lazy a-hole that thinks he needs to be treated like he's the master of the house. 